What's up guys, Spin Firearms here and back with an awesome video for you guys and I hope you enjoy it. I finally got my hands on an HK. Now people have been saying you need an HK ever since 5,000, 10,000 subscribers. They said you need one, it'll change your life, especially because I love subcompacts and HK offers a pretty good variety of subcompacts. So I finally got one and I'm super excited about it. Now here's the thing, normally this firearm in front of me is $1,000. I got it for 500 and if you follow my channel, you'll see that I posted it on the community tab and then I took it down, of course, because YouTube gets on you about that, but I posted in the community tab saying it's on sale on Palmetto State Armory for $500 off. Now it is in 40 Smith & Wesson, so that's probably a big reason why, but before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, tell me your experiences with HK, what you carry today, what kind of holster, what kind of ammo, also tell me your thoughts on this firearm. Now if you know my channel, I usually review firearms anywhere between you know 200 to about 650 and on top of that I do have some more builds that like Glock builds stuff like that that are more expensive but I tend to stick to firearms that I think are a reasonable price for carry because I think a thousand dollars for a carry pistol there's nothing wrong with it if you got it but especially in today's market and um, with the inflation and everything going on in the world I think a thousand dollars is a lot for a pistol but it was 50% off now sometimes you go to the store, something's 50% off, right? But it's never $500 off. So this was something I had to jump on. Now if I would have been scrolling through Palmetto State's daily deals and this was still $1,000, chances are we wouldn't be watching this video right now. But like I said, it's in 40 Smith & Wesson, $500, I couldn't turn it down. That's the price of a Glock 27 Gen 3. Anyways, I picked up the P2000 V3 subcompact, like I said, chambered in 40. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, first of all, you get your pistol, which we'll get into. You get a second mag, and if you notice, they have the same exact base plate, so no, you know, no additional capacity or anything like that. And they do give you a back strap. Now, on top of the back strap, they give you this key. And I haven't messed around. I literally just got this firearm, so I haven't messed around with it a whole lot. But I'm pretty sure this goes somewhere in that um, back strap area, and you can turn off the firearm. It's basically for a, you know an internal safety type thing. Um, and so on. like I said, they have a small back strap, but I tend to like a larger palm swell Especially like on my Taurus GX4 video like I showed you guys I tend to like the larger back straps that stick out more and man does this thing Feel like a glove it fits so well in the hand, but anyways, let's get into it Obviously no forward serrations because when this firearm came out forward serrations weren't really that big of a thing um, Of course you got a rail you have decent texturing, the back strap's pretty good, and the finger grooves are pretty good. And that's really only the only area you need good texturing, because that's where your fingers are gripping and your hand. Notice how you don't have anything right here. It does have a little texturing, but not a lot. Then also you have ambidextrous, um, what do you call it, parts on this firearm. So basically if left-handed or right-handed, you can use this firearm the same exact way. And that's a, awesome for a lot of left-handed people. So this. You know, ambidextrous slide stops and stuff like that are huge, and I know there's only a certain amount of firearms out there, stuff like the CSX, but everyone hates the CSX. So this is one of those hammer fire models that's great for carry, um, that has ambidextrous controls. Now, these are nine round mags, and obviously they are quality mags. They look a little funky on the back, but trust me, they are quality. Um, like I said, nine plus one, so ten rounds, you see the made in Germany. 10 rounds in a setup like this, just fine with me. Like I always say over here on this channel, you know, I'm fine with six plus one, seven plus one, all the way up to 15 plus one is normally what I carry, somewhere in between there, depending, like right now I just came home from work and I'm carrying a seven plus one setup, a 357 SIG. And I literally just came out of the holster, Blacksmith Tactical V2 holster. Now, let's get into the firearm. Instead of having just like a button uh, mag release, it has the paddle. That's something that I'm going to have to get used to. I know the old Walthers and stuff like that had it on there, and some other firearms do. That's one of the things that's European design that I'm going to have to get used to. Because sometimes when I go to reach, since I've gotten home and have been messing around with it, I've noticed sometimes I can't do it. Um, and so I'm just going to have to perfect my technique and really work with the pistol, which is how it should be anyways. You should always adapt and really work to learn your firearm, the insides and outs, um, really get to know it. That way you are the best with it. Now, obviously the firearm is clear. I literally just picked it up. Just started messing with it. Notice how it's you know hammer fired, right? 
I believe decocker, right? So now you're gonna have this long double action trigger pull, right? But then your next trigger pull is gonna be this. Now it's a little bit long of a reset, but man, does that feel good. That trigger is unreal. The reset's a little long, which is fine for me for self-defense and stuff like that, but oh my goodness. And if you don't decock it, right? Check this out. It is so crisp. Now, even the double action is very, very predictable. That break is very predictable. Now, it's long and it's heavy like it's supposed to be, but it's predictable. And while messing it around, you know, messing around with it, what I do is I usually take a sticker or I have a wall with a sticker on it and I mess around and I pull that trigger and I try to keep my hands as steady as possible. And there's some firearms with long trigger pulls that when I pull, I pull the whole firearm. This is not one of those. This stays steady in the hand on the target and I absolutely love that even with that long heavy double action trigger pull. Now how would I carry this? Right now I'm not 100% sure. I really like that first trigger pull. Um, when it's not double action, I really like the single action feature. But at the same time for safety and stuff like that and also shootability, I have no problem with that double action um, system. I also think it's just really cool to own a double action single ac action pistol where you can drop the hammer and for certain situations, you know, you can have a long trigger pull. Or, if you really want to, you can have the single action. So I sort of like that about it. And you know this HK is one of those firearms that I absolutely love. And I'll explain. Stuff like the XD. The Smith & Wesson Subcompact. The XDM from the Springfield Armory. They're all firearms that have something in common. And they have heavy slides. And they're thick boys, right? But that all adds to the shootability. Heavy slides mean less recoil, less muzzle flip. And so I already know this is going to be a sweet shooter. Now I've shot its brother, the VP9 subcompact, and I absolutely loved it. But like I said, this deal came around, so why not? I had to go for it. And if we, we all know and have heard the stories of HK running 100,000 rounds, 120,000 rounds without parts breakages, sometimes 200,000 rounds, some crazy numbers, and they're just as reliable as can be. Now, do they stay current with the market? No, they don't. But that's not a big deal because what you're paying for is absolute reliability and an amazing, amazing firearm. Now, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on deals. If I ever see that deal again, I'll let you guys know because right now I feel like I just got an amazing firearm for, you know, the price of a Glock. And it has a lot of features that a Glock doesn't. But I still love my Glocks. Now, obviously, three dot white sights. Probably going to have to get some night sights for it. So that'll be an extra cost. But still... Having that 50% off leaves you a little room for a holster, you know, some sights, stuff like that. So it's really nice. Now, when it comes to the overall ergonomics of it, I didn't really like it that much with the small back strap. The second I threw this large palm swell back strap out, it felt really good in the hand. But what it reminded me of is the Springfield Armory XDM. It has a spot for two of your fingers, but then the XDM has that little magwell on it. So like you have this awkward third finger sticking out. But what you notice is it's not really awkward. It looks weird on camera, but it actually feels really, really good on the hand. So you're getting about two and a half fingers. I wear size large gloves. About two and a half fingers on the firearm. But like I said, there's going to be very little recoil on this beast of a firearm. It's very thick. It's a little heavy. But pair it with some good Civil Liberty Defense rounds or Underwood Extreme Defenders, lighter rounds. You're going to make up for some of that weight. But guys, I absolutely love this thing. We're going to see where it ranks in my top firearms for everyday carry. But before that, I need to get to the range. I need to shoot it. I need to test it out. I know it's going to be reliable. I mean, I doubt this is a lemon or anything like that. But I need to get good with it before I start carrying it. Because like I said, the controls are a bit different. I'm not used to a double action trigger pull except for on some of my pocket pistols. Um, but I'm not used to a firearm of this size with that double action or even the single action. Such a light simple trigger right so i gotta get good with it but just thought i'd share this video with you guys this is an awesome awesome pickup like i said palmetto state armory they have their daily deals trust me check them out and that's where i picked up this thing brand new for 300 dollars. paid 100 dollars for the barrel now i have a 400 dollar work setup that has literally nothing wrong with it so far and this thing has been pocket carried through gunk and lint and everything else primer glue dirt wood shavings literally everything so like i said check palmetto state armory daily deals and you might find something like this that you can score but what i have realized is you need to jump on it 
because Palmetto State Armory goes out of stock on pistols a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get to shoot it sometime this weekend at the range. Let me know what you th think in the comments. Thanks for watching.